All right, guys, so we're out here on the outside of this building. We've done all these stores for you over the years, and they're all pretty consistent. You know, the branding remains the same. It's all the stone, the same signs, the down lighting. You know, so we're really good at that. Now, here we are in this square building. So what are our ideas about how we're going to make this store look similar to what you have. It's a very different challenge for us when you've got an existing building, especially one that's as big as this one is, on a very popular corner. A lot of traffic on this road. There's a traffic light, so people stop there and look at it. It can't just be the same building that's been there for years and years. Now, it's been two different places, but for a long time, it's been nothing. It's been vacant. So we have to make it come back to life. And the challenge on that is, you know, the windows aren't typical to what we normally have. In some cases, there's no windows at all. We have to figure out how do we make it look like an ABC without breaking down all the walls and redoing the roof and a, a number of different elements. But what you find out is when you work with a company like Media One, you can kind of brainstorm different ideas and they have an attitude of, we can do that, we can do that and you find out that it doesn't have to be from the ground up. You can take something that's already there and make it your own. I see you got windows on the front of the building, but there's no windows around the rest of the place. Right, we've never done this before where we've got these narrow or short windows, and on the other side, there's kind of these faux windows that they don't really work for ABC, so we gotta figure out how to cover them in a way. Like those arches? Yeah, okay. I mean, if we could make them look like a window, uh, keep that feeling without knocking out the wall. That yeah, would be we could a do the same type of awning we do everywhere else, but just over a piece of the store that's not yeah. in glass. <laughs> right. they're gonna, Fake it. They're going to have to be big right. awnings. Yeah, man, look at the size of those openings there, man. It looks like it put a giant sign up there. Yeah, we're going to need a giant sign for that section. We want it on both sides. We want to really kind of shine on this corner that we've got here for a yeah. great property. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's a few signature pieces that kind of make up the ABC brand on the exterior of the building. Of course, it's the sign. Everyone knows the logo at this point, but it's also the awnings. It's the look and feel that comes from the color schemes. It's the stone on the walls. It's very much the lighting that you see. So at nighttime in particular, we have to feel like a safe place to come and visit because that's who we are. Media One helps us a lot with not just the sign that's on the wall, but the overall lighting features that kind of make the building come to life. Man, that was really great hearing Sean Kelly talk oh, about yeah. the exterior lighting of the projects that we do. You know, we're really proud about you know how those signs look at nighttime oh, specifically, yeah. and the down lighting we do, and uh, you know how it's developed over the years. Yeah, the whole you know, building, we, yeah, a, the whole building down signs, wash, everything, e everything. Up. Yeah, so it was really great. And now, in this Winter Garden store, while the lighting is not going to be an issue at all because it's a big square store, yeah. it's <laughs> just going to be upsized. Yep, yep, yeah, a lot more feet of it. Upsize. <laughs> talk about upsize the. Uh, logo signs themselves, they're like three times larger than the standard. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, we haven't even talked about the awnings yet. Oh my goodness, the awnings are going to be kind of crazy because typically we build these aluminum tube frames and right. we stretch them with a product from Cooley Bright, which is called Weather Tight. Weather -tight. And it's that awning fabric that we stretch over top. It's a vinyl fabric. It only comes 74 inches wide. So on a typical store, those awnings are about, what, eight to 10 feet wide? And we make them in two sections. Yeah, two we wrap it, boom, boom, together. Mm -hmm. Now, those big arches that we have to cover over yeah. are like way bigger than our typical window we do. Mm -hmm. So now, we're still limited by that 74 inch material, which has to have enough material to go around the two inch aluminum tube frame and around the back to staple it into the, the frame. So yeah. now, we're gonna have to do those frames or those panels yeah. in three sections. Yeah, three, probably three. Hopefully yeah. not four, but, and then we have the EFIS that's already on the building that we're gonna have to cut away to be able to fit our framework in for the awnings, because they don't because get floored out there. There's gonna have to be more supports in the middle because of the length of it, because we, you know, we got wind loads and everything. Yeah. So there'll be more supports going back to the building than our typical ones too. That's gonna be a little so. bit of a challenge, but you know, that's what we do. let's go do it. And the whole idea is to make these awnings look like there's windows behind them. Mm -hmm. You know, and that, that's just the exterior. We haven't even talked about the interior yet. Oh yeah, exactly. So the exterior signs, they're all the same. They're just a lot bigger, right? right. No big deal. 
On the interior though, it's a completely different look for them, okay? So where we used to have these walls, they'd paint the walls all these different colors mm -hmm. throughout the place, and then we'd match our sign raceways with the dimensional letters to those wall colors and mount them to the wall. It's a great look, but now they're trying to go a totally different look, and they're doing all the walls in one color, like a nice light gray, mm -hmm. and the pops of color, they want to come from these panels with the d dimensional letters on it. So, and then but the just, hanging rings that we brought from the other stores, so that'll be a little bit of color too. Yep, exactly. And then that crazy whiskey section. Oh man, the whiskey section. That's gonna be like the most impactful part of the store for the guests. And to the customers. Of course, Rick thinks that whiskey section is impactful. Whiskey as a category is still on the rise. It's huge already and it's still going up. But at the end of the day, there's plenty of people that sell Maker's Mark Jack Daniels, and on down the line. So you can't just assume when you sell a commodity product that people are gonna show up. You have to give them something more. So we have to give them an experience to the store, and that's really what we're trying to do in that section. Create a wow moment when you walk in, and then when you walk through the section and you, you're browsing, you have this feeling of this is a different kind of experience. I haven't gotten this someplace else. So ABC is really excited about the distillery section in this store. They really want it to be an environmental destination experience. They want you to come in and just be awed by how cool this is. And uh, what they're going for is, is really neat. A very old world whiskey distillery look. Uh, they want to see copper, they want to see brown, they want to see whiskey barrels, that sort of thing. Uh, we're really excited about helping them out with this because we get to introduce wall wraps to this ABC location, which we haven't done before. Uh, so wall wraps from 3M are real neat. They have a nice matte finish on them so that there's no glare. And and you can see that this image is the main image they're going for. It really has that whiskey distillery feel. It's got those coppers and those metals that gleam and glow. Uh, really excited to see how this looks on their, on their new walls. And then on the other side, they're doing the distillation journey, kind of all the different steps that go into distillation, kind of give you a little education. So this won't be just a, a whiskey section. You'll be able to go in and learn a little bit about whiskey and really get a feel for the old world distillation process. Also, they're looking to actually bring brand, the barrels, the whiskey barrels that they have on the wall here, they want it to say the ABC Distillery. Uh, so that's a challenge in and of itself. Each of the barrels is curved. We have to use a special 3M vinyl called 3662, which conforms to these shapes and takes on the texture of the barrel. We're going to do some distressing to the graphics themselves. That way they look old and they match the barrels. Uh, this should look really cool when we get done with it. We went to go see Rick and Dale in their office with renderings and we didn't quite know how we were going to pull it off. Did it have to be a banner? What's that all gonna look like? And those guys immediately said, you can do a vinyl wrap. And then they started showing us, you could do a vinyl wrap here, you can do one over here, you could do it here, here, here. And so much to our surprise, we could make all of this happen by using something that they're very experienced with. So we had no idea that it was going to be a vinyl wrap, uh, we knew they would be involved in some way, shape, or form, and we figured, let's go talk to those guys, and they'll kind of lead us down this path. And they knew immediately when they saw it, here's what we're going to do. Yeah, and that's what makes it a great thing working with this client, right? So their management team and their creative team, you know, they have a consistent vision. They know, you know, pretty much how they want all these stores to look like, yeah. but they allow us to come in here and be a real creative partner with them. They allow us to give them suggestions. Now, here's the thing. They've been our biggest client. We've done these massive stores all over the state for them for the last 14 years, right. and they have never, ever once done wall wraps. And we wrap so many walls and so much stuff. So when they came to us and they said, hey, we want to convey this and we want this to look like this and how would we go about that? And they had no clue. And it we're wasn't like, even an option they were thinking about. Nope, yeah. we'll just wrap the walls. They're like, what? And we're like, yeah, we could do these great photographic, realistic photographs or, you know, the images on those walls and we just wrap the walls. And they looked at each other like, wow, hey, these guys just came <laughs> up with this great idea. And it's something we do every day. But to be able to offer that to them now, once we put those on there, we're really excited to see what their view mm -hmm. of this particular thing is because I know that they're gonna wanna use them in their other stores. Yeah, they will find other places to do that for sure. Yeah, that's great. Sure. So it's really, really nice to have that relationship where they are confident in us mm -hmm. enough to bring these new ideas to them. Now, we just gotta reward their confidence with doing a fantastic mm -hmm. job. Right, right. And we always comes back to the whiskey section for me, you know? So remember, if we go out there, 
at their grand opening and they're having a tasting. You cannot make the faces like you were doing in here when we <laughs> tasted whiskey here. I don't even know. That was like some Irish whiskey something. That was a totally different thing. Ricky Scott. <laughs> I try to teach them. That was a perfect size shot. Okay. Give a second. Are you okay? So anyway, thank you for watching Meeting One Raptus YouTube channel. We'll see you next time. <sighs> <laughs>